In my most recent videos, I've shown you how to set up a docking station to the Steam Deck, then how to install Windows to a micro SD card for use on the deck. You might think there was some ultimate plan or goal, right? Well, there was a plan, but I couldn't share it until I knew it was possible. What you're seeing here is the At Games Legends Pinball Cabinet. This machine has an impressive feature that lets you connect external HDMI and USB, also known as OTG, devices to the machine. I have made additional modifications, including the VIBS board to allow utilizing the back glass, an arcade control panel for easy navigation and arcade gameplay, and a deluxe haptics kit that includes an amp, which is absolutely amazing. What I find pretty cool is that both the back glass image and the play field are all being run from the Steam Deck. As far as I know, this is the first time anyone has demonstrated being able to connect both the play field and the back glass to the Steam Deck on the Legends Pinball Cabinet. You're seeing it here first. If you're as excited as I am, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future Steam Deck and At Games content. I'm not only going to show you some gameplay, but I've also put together a detailed set of guides to help you do the same. In this video, we'll install Pinball FX3 and Pinup Popper Baller Installer to allow playing thousands of community-developed Visual Pinball X and future pinball tables right from our Steam Deck. There were a few hurdles that I ran into, and I'll cover them as well. I love the Steam Deck, and I love the Legends Pinball Machine, and now my two favorite devices have converged. Virtual Pinball and Handheld Gaming. I'm John, and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. If you head on over to wagnerstechtalk.com forward slash sd dash alp, it'll take you to the Steam Deck with Legends Pinball Guide. This guide makes use of existing content to avoid duplication, but expands where necessary to assist with the Steam Deck setup. If considering the same, please read the guide closely. It will always be more up to date than this video. From the table of contents, you'll find an additional resources section, which has some great content, including Nailbuster's site with tons of information on Baller Installer. Additionally, you'll find a section on why or why not to use the Steam Deck for virtual pinball. Pinball FX3 and VPX do play very well for most tables that I've tried, but at the time of this video, future pinball doesn't play as smoothly on some tables. I'll show you some gameplay on that shortly, but wanted to make you aware of it early on. Within the requirements section, I list all the hardware and software that I use to get things working. Some items are marked as optional, but you may still want to consider them, such as the VIBS board and the arcade control panel. I have links for each and video content to show you how to install and set them up. One thing to note, I did not need a powered USB hub for this setup. The dock has two HDMI ports, one for the play field and the other for the back glass, as well as three USB ports, and there was no need for a powered USB hub. In the Q&A section, I tried to anticipate some of the questions you may have. I'm sure this section will expand once this guide and video become available. If you have a question not answered in this video, please check out this section. Within the hardware setup section, the first item is the Legends Pinball Setup itself. There is a guide and video linked here which will help you with your machine setup if it's not already set up. The video will walk you through the assembly process from beginning to end. The same is true for the arcade control panel. If you'll be using this guide, there is a joy to key profile provided that will take care of all the button mapping for the flippers, the plungers, etc. You can, of course, choose not to use the profile, but from what I've seen on the Steam Deck, it's very responsive. There is another section on connecting the Legends Pinball, or ALP as it is commonly known, to the dock, but I'd like to show you those connections before we continue. At the top panel of the ALP, we have the USB 2.0 OTG connection, the HDMI connection for the main playfield. On the dock, the HDMI connection for the playfield plugs in here, and the HDMI for the back glass, or VIBS, here. This is the OTG connection, 
the Steam Deck power adapter, and only a single USB-C connection to the Steam Deck. I do have a sliding drawer on order. If it arrives in time for this video, I'll show it towards the end. I already have a full guide which will assist you in installing Windows to a micro SD card. Using this method, you can easily shut down Windows, remove the card, and return back to SteamOS. You'll want to pick up a U3 A2 card for the best performance. Just to reiterate, everything you'll see in this video is running Windows from a single micro SD card and not the built-in SSD. After installing Windows to the micro SD, you'll likely want to install an application such as TeamViewer, which will allow you to remotely connect to your Steam Deck for installation and configuration of Pinball FX3 and Baller Installer. While you can perform the installation directly from the ALP display, it will be uncomfortable and why I recommend this approach. Totally up to you. TeamViewer is free for personal use and there are others, so use what you're most comfortable with. Press the channel button on the ALP once all connections have been made. The control mode should be set for OTG, display to main display, and degrees set for 90. Then select the OK button and you should see the Windows display in landscape. If you've connected the Vibs board, press the Vibs switch button for the back glass. Your displays may not initially look like what you see here. You have to arrange them properly first. The guide will step you through arranging the displays, but let's take a brief look. Whether connecting remotely or on the Steam Deck, right-click the desktop and select Display Settings. Arrange your monitors as shown here. The playfield will be on the far left, the back glass in the middle, and the Steam Deck on the far right. Make sure all are aligned perfectly at the top. Select the playfield display and make sure the scale and layout is set to 100%. Display resolution to 1920 by 1080. Display orientation to landscape. Extend desktop should be selected and make this your main display should also be checked. Repeat the same for the back glass display, only do not check the option for the main display here. For the Steam Deck display, you can go ahead and leave it as is. If you're not hearing any audio, Click the speaker icon in the lower right of the test bar and make sure the playfield display is selected. Pinball FX3 is a commercial package developed by Zen Studios. The setup for Pinball FX3 is much easier than Baller Installer and for that reason I recommend starting here. There is a dedicated guide and video that covers this setup in detail. Just follow along and you should be up and running quickly. The setup will be identical to what is documented already. That is, you will need to request a cabinet code from Zen, install the Steam client, and follow along. For best results with the Steam Deck, you will want to go into the video options and set VSync to on. This will smooth out the transitions during ball launch and the playfield. Let's jump into some of the gameplay of FX3 running off the Steam Deck so you can see how it performs. As you would expect, the flippers and nudge buttons on the ALP are being used as well as the plunger for launching the ball. Jason Quill, you stand accused of corrupting the only law that matters in this galaxy. Mine! And you stand accused of being the galaxy's biggest jerk. I mean, I'm no lawyer, but talk about a rock solid case. Such arrogance. Our destroyer's total coming right at us. Sir, the possibility of successfully navigating an asteroid is approximately 3,750 miles. Well, then, this has been an absolute misfire. Wow. Good. Good so far. <laughs> oh, this is fun, huh? 
As mentioned, pin a popper baller installer will install Visual Pinball X as well as Future Pinball. There are literally thousands of community developed pinball tables that can be played. It includes a nice front end for navigating the tables, and again, setting this up is more time consuming than what you'll find with Pinball FX3. However, it's unlikely you'll ever run out of new pinball tables to add to your machine, and most look great. There is a lot of content on this guide. You'll want to set aside some time for this setup. It will cover in detail how to add VPX tables and future pinball tables, assigning artwork, and it also has its own troubleshooting section, and more. On the Steam Deck with Legends Pinball Guide, you'll also find some helpful troubleshooting information specific to the Steam Deck. A huge thank you to Mr. Terry Red that provided some helpful tips on how to improve future pinball performance. Next, I'll demonstrate some future pinball gameplay coming from the Steam Deck. Superhero landing. You gotta do a superhero landing. Wait for it! Landing. Yeah, that's really hard. Totally fast. Oh, you can't. Powering up the katanas. Oh, Now let's check out some visual pinball tables. That brings us to the end of another video. Comment below and let me know if you'll be playing pinball on your Steam Deck. The drawer did arrive, but unfortunately the Steam Deck didn't fit. If I find one that works out, I'll add pictures to the guide. I hope you enjoyed this look at using your Steam Deck on a physical pinball cabinet. It's yet another way your Steam Deck can be used in a new and an exciting way. If you found this content interesting or helpful, please click the like button. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please click the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to talking with you again very soon.